Hello my friends, Nico here from New Wave Frames. Today I was going through an old hard drive of mine and I found this song I made 10 years ago, long long time ago when I was still an active musician and not a coder. And I was very happy that I found it because it was a song I, I was looking for for a long time and at some point even doubted that I ever made it because I just couldn't find it. Anyways, I found it. I found it's a cool chance to make an AI music video with the tool I've built, New Wave Frames. <laughs> Put the cherry on top of the cake, we're going to use a new AI model called Stable Diffusion XL. Stability AI released this just a few weeks ago. Some people say it rivals mid-journey and its image generation qualities. Let's find out how we like it and create a video with it. Cool, so here we go. We are neuroframes.com. We have the models we can choose from. Oh, it's a custom model here, but today we're going to use Stable Diffusion XL. Now, the, the song is very gloomy, rainy, gray, a bit like Kafka-esque, if that's an English word, in German it's a word. <laughs> uh, so I will put in something like rainy streets, film noir, Kafka, gloomy atmosphere, something like that. Maybe we can click on Pimp My Prompt once, see what this does to us. I'm going to pick a 4 to 3 format. This looks awesome. And then we click on render and here we go. We have the images. Yeah, actually that's that's cool. I think I think this one We're gonna choose it as a first frame for our video Right and what we're gonna do now is upload the song Reise ans Ende der Dunkelheit um, It's something like a journey to the end of the darkness I was the I was still I'm thinking about the word a lot. Now I'm just building stuff. I enjoy it more. It's more fun than thinking critically about the word. Right, so the the stems are extracted from the song, but in the meantime we can listen to the track maybe. <laughs> I'm proud of it a little bit because I made the beat myself back then. It was just a time where bought an analog synthesizer and then went nuts with it and it was really the one of the first beat i ever made that was really that i liked so we have the st stems of the song i hope it works i would like the snare yeah that's cool that's already a very cool object to to put modulation on so we can add modulation based on the snare you can see it here where it will modulate it, but just every now and then it will kick and change something in the video. And apart from that, the video should remain roughly the same. So what we're going to do is we go to pro mode. We can have a slight zoom in maybe rotation. I would not even do at the moment. Maybe we pick a low smooth value. The smooth is the how much between two neural network outputs, how many interpolation frames there will be. If you have a high smooth generation will be faster, but it will also be kind of a, a more atmospheric smoothing thing, whatever that means. <laughs> but what we're going to do is have a low smooth and it will be very fast. But because we will decrease the strength, the, the change from frame to frame will actually not be very high. And then what we're going to do is we have the snare, we have a modulation based on the snare goes to the strength. And then you can see that the strength, which is the, the strength of how much change there will be in, in from frame to frame. We just get a kick every now and then from the snare will be a new image. Cool. I think we're just going to try this and see if we like it. And, and, um, I click on render and then I see you on the other side. Okay, so this is it. Cool. Now the kind of the song begins here, right? So Neuroframes offers a lazy version, which is it tries to make a story out of the last prompts that you've entered. In this case, there's one prompt entered, right? We enter it together. And then there's this button here that will try to make a story out of the last prompt. Let's see what we get here. A lone detective walks through a futuristic neon lit cityscapes, rain soaked street, reflecting colorful holographic billboards. Yeah, why not? Sure. We can even try another one, maybe, just for fun. 
see what what the next story will be like after the detective and the oh, cyberpunk market okay cool yeah actually i didn't really have the cyberpunk image in mind but i mean why not right we can try to we can start zooming a bit further in maybe and then also rotate a little bit just to have some movement also in this direction and what i will also do actually i will increase the strength jump of this modulation from here on and then i click on render and then we see what we're having here is very cool we have some really unique images Really nice. You can really see Stable Diffusion XL strike with these repeating patterns, very detailed structures. Now, what you might have heard in the song, there's this very noticeable bass line, and I would like to add some modulation based on the bass line now. This is kind of an experiment. I, I usually put the modulation on the snare or the kick drum, which always works. But I've seen from other people that they used uh, modulation on some other instruments. And so now I would try the bass drum and maybe not the strength this time, but maybe rotation. And let's say, I think down or shall we go up? We can go up also. I'm not really not sure what the right values here are. We will find out. Now there's this detective story in the prompt that is going on. I don't really want detectives. And so I will use the cyberpunk market. I will use this, this stuff as a prompt input, but then maybe put more. I like the surveillance drones, actually. I like the bit like, you know, 1984 stuff. Maybe we can even put 1984. I hope it will not be too black and white then. And we just see what happens. We can also add another prompt. But then what we need to do is increase the strength because now we don't have this kick anymore to increase the strength. So it's, it's always good to have a bit of a higher strength if, we, if we're not modulating the strength. Maybe we can also zoom a little bit slower this time. Okay, what do we put here? I will add something later on. We render from here. Okay, so we are rendering. I, I added some things here. I added the rotation based on the base. Then also added a part where I rotate in the other direction uh, on, on the base. Then also some zoom on the kick and then back to the snare, the strength. I added some other prompts um, that are a bit fitting to the lyrics. So I, I speak about long, weird roads and I don't, I cannot find the path. So I ended, I added something like that. I'm speaking about clocks and yeah, I, I try to somehow find prompts that describe the lyrics a little bit. I really like the aesthetics. They're very new with the Stable Diffusion XL. They're different than the other models that Neural Frames offers. I will wait for this to, to finish and then show the whole video. I hope you like it. Like and subscribe to this channel. Check out Neural Frames if you like and enjoy. Happy rendering. Bleiben. Die Reise 